welcome today we will discuss derivation of formula for curved surfaces for this here i am taking a concave mirror and it is the principal axis pole focal point center of curvature if i place a object outside C then where the image is formed for that I am taking two instant light rays which are emerging from top of the object and incidenting on the concave mirror at point X this is the parallel light ray so we know that parallel light ray after reflection it passes from the the reflected light ray passes from the focal point now I am taking second light ray which is passing from center of curvature and incidenting on the curved surface so the light ray is passing from center of curvature is nothing but the light ray is passing incidenting along with radius of curvature radius of curvature itself normal line in case of curved surfaces so the light ray incident light ray is incidenting on this surface along with normal line then after reflection the light ray follows same path bounces back so from this we can know that the two reflected light rays are intersecting here here the image is formed okay so le here let us say the object is a b and the image is a dash b dash from this diagram we can conclude that two triangles a b c and a dash b dash c are similar triangles in case of similar triangles triangle a dash b dash c are similar triangle so in case of similar triangles we can write that a b by a dash b dash a b by a dash b dash equal to a c by a dash c a c by a dash c let us say this is the first equation now from the point where the parallel light ray incident on the curved surface draw a perpendicular onto the principal axis and this line perpendicular line intersecting the principal axis at p dash from this again we can observe two similar triangles that is x p dash f and a dash b dash f again we are drawing from these similar triangles x p dash f and triangle a dash b dash f these also similar triangles from these two triangles we can write that x p dash by a dash b dash equal to p dash f by a dash f p dash f by a dash f and here x p dash and a b once observe x p dash and a b these two are the distances between two parallel light rays 
so between two parallel light rays the distance wherever it is the distance is equal so instead of writing x p dash we can write here a b so what i am writing instead of x p dash because x p dash also equal distance as a b that's why x p dash is replaced with a b a b by a dash b dash p dash f by a dash f let us say this is the second equation from the first equation a b by a dash b dash is equal to a c by a dash c from the second equation a b by a dash b dash same p dash f by a dash f from these two we can write that a c by a dash c equal to p dash f by a dash f so a c by a dash c equal to p dash f by a dash f so if these instant light rays are paraxial then what happens let us know what is paraxial light rays the light rays which are close to the principal axis very close to the principal axis and they are traveling very close to the principal axis and incidenting on the curved surface then that light rays are said to be paraxial light rays in such case almost this p dash coincides with p for example let us say this is the curved surface and here it is principal axis if this light ray comes from here from certain distance is there between this uh, two parallel letters principal axis and this incident light ray then if you draw a normal line the pole and the point where this normal line intersecting the principal axis there is a gap but if this light ray close to the principal axis then what happens if you draw a normal line almost this that perpendicular line intersecting point on the principal axis and pole both are coincides in such case we can replace this p dash with p in case of paraxial light rays we can write this equation as a c by a dash c and p dash almost coincides with pole that's why p f by a dash a dash f so this is third equation now let us write this each term in the equation third what is a c so this is the distance a c so we can write it as p a minus p c p a minus p c next distance a dash c a dash c we can write it as a dash c p c minus p a dash next p f p f is it's a direct distance okay next a dash f a dash f this is the distance we need so for that we can write a dash f p a dash p a dash minus p f so substitute these all equations in the equation 3 then what happens so here i am substituting these three distances in equation 5 ac pa minus pc by a dash c pc minus pa dash equal to pf 
and a dash f a dash f p a dash p a dash and p f minus p f so now let us write what is each distance p a what is p a this is the distance of the object this is the object the distance of object from the mirror p a p a is nothing but distance of, of object generally the distance of object is denoted with u next p c from pole to center of curvature it is nothing but radius of curvature double of focal length is radius of curvature so p c is equal to r r to f next p a dash so here a dash is the dist the point where the image is formed so p a dash the distance of image from the mirror so p a dash is v generally the distance of image is denoted with v then p f p f p f the nothing but focal length the distance between pole and focal point is focal length small f then p a dash already the distance of image and p f focal length and substituting this term in above equation so p a u p c r or 2f so radius of curvature is double to focal length by p c again 2f and p a dash distance of image v equal to p f focal length and p a dash distance of image now p f focal length now simplifying this equation u minus 2f v minus f equal to f into 2f minus v then u into v uv minus uf minus 2f into v minus into minus plus 2f square equal to 2f square f into minus v f v so here 2f square 2f square get cancelled then here 2f v and minus 2f v and f v so i am simplifying again u v u f then if minus 2 f v moves right hand side then it, it becomes positive value so 2 f v and 1 f v minus 1 f v u v minus u f equal to f v then dividing let us say this is the equation 4 3 dividing equation 3 with u v f okay the total equation 3 is divided with u v f then what happens so u v by u v f if you divide like that there is no change in the value u f by 
u v f equal to f v by u v f then u v u v get cancelled here u f u f v is remaining 1 by v is remaining here and f f get cancelled v v get cancelled 1 by u remaining here so 1 by f minus 1 by v and 1 equal to 1 by u or 1 by f equal to and 1 by v is taken uh, moved right side then 1 by v plus 1 by u so this is the equation is said to be formula for curved mirrors not only it is applicable for curved surfaces curved mirrors also applicable for curved lenses but whenever you are writing this formula in case of lenses or convex lens or concave mirror we need to consider sign convention in next class we will discuss the sign conventions which are used for the formula okay thank you